One. That's zero, zero. Four, you're That's good, mate. Look at that. Yeah. Refugee Rescue uh, was founded by Jude uh, Bennett and Joby, who were uh, two people who arrived on the island in 2015, when there were a lot of arrivals. The situation here and the operations are changing every year, I would say, or every month. Uh, of course, in the beginning, in 2015, it was completely different. A lot of people arriving. There was help needed even at sea or even on land. Um, there were a lot of rescue boats from NGOs. Bravo, 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 ne! This uh, got changed a lot after the EU-Turkey agreement in March 2016, when the arrivals um, dropped down a lot. Um, the difference is that the people are stuck more in Turkey and they just uh, try to come uh, more and more times, according to how many times they're getting pushed back. I first came here because um, I'm, I'm Greek, uh, I'm from Athens and I was uh, hearing on the news more on, uh, about the situation back in 2015. So at some point I had the chance to take a break from what I was doing back home and I wanted to come and volunteer. Um, it was a shock. Um, at that point also I realized that personally it made a difference for me. I realized that it's something that I want to do for, for the whole of my life. Sometimes we feel alone, but we're not. There is a big movement. There are a lot of people who are doing what we are doing. There are a lot of people who are doing even more. Uh, especially in Europe, in countries, in a lot of countries, especially I would say Germany, uh, Spain, Italy. Um, there are big movements and there are people who are uh, really, pu really pushing for, for a difference. It is uh, humanitarian actions, uh, but definitely it has to do also with political ideas. Um, uh, as I said before, this is not a refugee crisis, this is a political crisis. I chose to come to Greece um, to volunteer because I think safe passage needs to be provided to people trying to come fleeing war, conflict and bad conditions of life. I think the freedom of movement should be real for everyone and everyone could choose, should be able to choose where they want to spend their lives, even more if they're fleeing danger or conflict or war. I think this, um, so our presence here can change a lot in the way Europe is treating the situation. First of all, um, all the volunteers coming can reach out to a lot of different people that then therefore they can know about our mission and know what we do here. And of course, our presence here will make a difference for those arriving. Uh, we do uh, a spectrum of uh, activities. Uh, it includes uh, activities with the children here in Moria Camp. Uh, we also do clothing distribution. And uh, we do cleaning both inside the camp and um, in terms of our children activities. Um, we have rented a plot of land right next to Moria, around 4,000 meters square. And um, we are currently building it up slowly. Uh, and our approach here as well is to have the community uh, participate in the setting up of the project. My life, uh, I think up to now, has a been a bit eclectic, <laughs> let's say. Uh, I finished school, I did a gap year uh, in China because I didn't know what to do with my life, as many of us <laughs> have uh, felt at some point or another. And then uh, I chose to go to university and I studied business. And once I finished university, I decided to go six months to Kenya to volunteer. And there I realized uh, the importance of, um, of having a good 
um, management of, of all the resources. It's true that here I think uh, it's a base uh, for people that kind of have a common ground, uh, are trying to address the same problem. So it's true that here uh, I do believe that there's a lot of people that, especially young people, as you say, like the next generation of humanitarian aid workers, but I do believe that Lesbos is only one piece of this humanitarian puzzle, let's say.